everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's Madison here. Today we are working with Aphrodite. So another Aphrodite based video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all cleaning my Aphrodite altar. It's very messy. <laughs> it's been a long while since I cleaned it, so it needs it. And now that it is spring, it is a great time for some spring cleaning. Uh, in my last video, I cleaned this altar you see behind me, which is my main altar. And now today I'm going to be cleaning my Aphrodite altar. Along with cleaning my Aphrodite altar, I'm also going to do a little bit of a ritual bath with Aphrodite after I clean the altar, which I'll bring you guys along with me. And you can turn this bath into a shower or any kind of means of getting clean that you prefer. I know baths are not for everyone and they're usually not for me, but the day I filmed this video, I was feeling particularly mentally strong, so I felt like I could take a bath. Um, but if you are like me and a lot of the time you don't like baths or you don't want to take a bath because of your mental health, uh, then you can take a shower instead. And before we get started, don't forget that you can hit that join button down below this video to become a member of my channel and get exclusive members only perks like early access to videos and getting to vote in exclusive members only polls that decide what video I make next. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to support my channel and see all my upcoming content. So let's get into the video. So first things first, I am cleaning everything off of my altar. Like I said, it's very messy. So like all my altar cleaning videos on my channel, you'll see that I have so much ash on it from incense uh, and burning various herbs and things. So cleaning all that off, all getting rid of all the dust and all the ash, getting rid of any of those dried flowers that aren't looking their best, taking all the objects off. And then giving the altar a wipe down, making sure that we have a nice clean surface to build our altar back up again. And I did this off camera, but I also wiped down Aphrodite herself, her statue. She was getting a little bit dusty, so I wiped her down before putting her back on the altar. <laughs> And I'm also doing a bit of an energy cleansing as well before putting things back on the altar. And then I wanted to rearrange some of the objects. I had a couple objects to add to the altar also that weren't on it before, like the sand dollar that I showed in my most recent video previous to this one. I found this sand dollar on a recent vacation, so I've been waiting to add it to my Aphrodite altar once I cleaned the altar. So now that the altar is clean and I'm putting things back on it, I gotta find a space for this beautiful sand dollar. Thank you. 
So I'm putting everything back on the altar, arranging it how I like, and I've also got a little bit of a bouquet of flowers that are about to die, so I'm drying them out on Aphrodite's altar. This is just a few little flowers and then a couple little sprigs of lavender. <laughs> And once I have everything back on the altar, I'm going to light an incense. This incense is jasmine. I'm lighting this for Aphrodite to welcome her back to the altar and say hello, I cleaned it and it's ready for you to return to. Now moving on to our ritual bath. Now that my altar is all beautiful and clean, I am going to start running the bath and start adding things to it that are connected to Aphrodite, correspondences of Aphrodite. So a lot of the products I'm using are rose related and nothing is an ad. So anything I show you is just stuff I'm showing you because it's what I used and I liked it and here I am sharing it with you all. So a while back, I think actually for Yule this past year at the holiday season, I received as a gift from someone these tubes of bath salts. So each one had different herbs in it. This one I've been saving specifically to work with Aphrodite to do a ritual bath with Aphrodite because it is rose. So it's got Epsom salts in it and then it's got rose petals in it. So I'm pouring that into the bath. I also have a bath bomb. This is from Lush and this one is also rose. So perfect for Aphrodite. I popped that in also. And then I wanted the bath to be a little bit more pink in color and also what is a bath without bubbles? So I added a little bit of bubble bath. This bubble bath is hemp and poppy. I'm also utilizing my Reiki skills with this ritual bath. So I'm drawing the Reiki symbols both on the faucet and on the water itself. So as the water comes out of the faucet, it goes through the Reiki symbol that I've drawn there and it gets charged with that Reiki energy. Same with the water. I'm drawing the symbols directly on the water and charging the water with Reiki energy. This helps to make the bath be as positive and for the greatest and highest good as possible. Adds a little bit of a healing property to it. It just feels nice. It's also very relaxing. You can also do this with a shower. You don't have to be taking a bath to utilize Reiki. I take Reiki showers all the time. You'll do the same thing basically that you did if you're doing it to a bath. Instead of giving Reiki to the faucet that the bath is that the bath water is coming out of, you're going to perform Reiki on the shower head. So wherever the water is coming out of, that is what you're going to charge with Reiki energy. So if you are a Reiki practitioner that's attuned to Reiki energy, you can draw the first Reiki symbol on the shower head or on the faucet, and then you leave your hands there for a while to add some energy, add some Reiki to that symbol, and then your water that comes out of that faucet or shower head will be charged with Reiki and it'll give you a little bit of a Reiki session. I'm also bringing in the bath with me a large glass of ice water. This is self-explanatory. I'm getting in a hot bath and I'm gonna be sweating and thirsty and I'm gonna need water. So I got myself a glass of ice water. Thank you. 
And then I'm showing you guys a little bit of what I'll be doing in the bath. This is one of the books I'm currently reading, and I usually like to read in the bath for the first half of my bath, and then the last half of my bath I tend to be sweatier and more tired and lazy, <laughs> so I usually put my book down and I will watch something on my laptop until I'm ready to get out of the bath. And I am currently binging Sailor Moon. I am still in season one. I think I'm about 20 episodes into season one of Sailor Moon, but I've never seen it before. I know. So I'm watching it for the first time and I have been obsessed with it. Not gonna lie, pretty obsessed with it. So I'm watching an episode of Sailor Moon in the bath once I finish reading a little bit of my book. And I also had to show you guys this little silly thing I have by my bathtub. When I was a kid, uh, my mom always had exactly these kind of canisters. I think they were a different brand, but same kind of thing. They are basically just foam, just colored, smelly foam. So I have a blueberry one and a strawberry one. So one is blue and one is pink. I've got the pink one out today to correspond with the Aphrodite pink theme. So these foams are basically made for kids and they're supposed to, you know, make, make wash time fun, make bath time fun. And when I was a kid, my mom always had them for us, but my mom would always use these with us when we were kids and she would kind of ball up, make a ball with the foam and then throw it at the top. That's something I just reintroduced recently in my life these past, uh, basically during quarantine with the pandemic. I got into incorporating play into my life and incorporating the things that I still want because we're all just big children. <laughs> Being an adult is just an illusion. We all still want those fun, silly things that we had when we were kids. So why not still have them? Um, so I like to use these sometimes in the shower, in the bath, just to give myself a little sense of play and let my inner child come out a little bit. So I am showing you guys this strawberry one that I have because I'm going to use that in the bath a little bit too. While you're in the bath or the shower, whichever way you're doing this ritual, you can also do a little bit of a prayer to Aphrodite. You can ask her to be present for you and if there's anything specific that you're wanting her to help you work on, you can include that in your prayer. Maybe you want to work on self-love and self-care with Aphrodite. Maybe Maybe you want her to help you with your romantic relationships and your friendship relationships in general, love with others, love for others. Um, maybe you want her to help you receive love in a more open way. Maybe you want this ritual to be about beauty and glamour magic. So do any of that that you want to do with Aphrodite during this bath or shower that you're taking. So after enjoying my bath, I give Aphrodite a little bit of a thank you. I thank her for being present and I thank her for everything that she's currently helping me with. So that is my ritual bath complete. I hope you all enjoyed seeing my Aphrodite altar and helping me clean it and joining me for a bit of a ritual bath or shower, whichever one you prefer. If you do a nice ritual bath or shower with Aphrodite, leave in the comments how it went for you. I know I left my ritual bath feeling very refreshed and full of self-love. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and maybe even join and become a member of my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Blessed be.